Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Tomb Raider. In this episode, we shall continue, go back for a few shinies I realized I missed, and continue to figure out what the heck is up on this island. I'm Red, this is Tomb Raider, and let's play. Hmm. It's been a while since I recorded the last video, so... Back off! Well, that's certainly starting things off with a bang. <sighs> so, hmm. let's check our map menu thingy to see what our objective is. Okay, so that menu saying Coastal Forest, that's our checklist for this area. It says what we've done and what we have left to, left to do. We have found all camps in this area. We still need to find one document, one relic, three GPS caches, uh, some downloaded tomb. We already did the tomb, but we can still find the treasure map. And we have four... Uh, thingies left for the ghost hunter challenge. Basically, if you shoot down all ten of those totems in this in the previous area, you get some extra XP. So let's be about it. Those are some arrows over there, good, because we will need to refill at some point. There's a totem for the ghost hunter thing. We have enough arrows, it seems. Thought I saw something over here. Oh, I already got all the shinies over here. It's been a bit. these bits. <sighs> Let's see what's up here. That looks promising over on the crate on the treehouse thing. And a treasure map! This will basically show me where all the shinies are on the map. And here's another thing you can do once you have the treasure map. You can toggle local waypoints so that when you trigger survival instinct, it won't just show you your main story objective, it'll show you where to go for the shiny you have uh, as your waypoint. 
And I'm gonna do that right now with this GPS cache. And zip line on down. I swear, that guy... He annoys the time out of me, I'll tell you that. Another of the t totem things? More arrows, which is good, because we need them. Let's go for this relic now. I have no idea how Lara does not have like tremendously messed up knees and ankles from all these rough landings. R.I.P. dude. This mask was used in the traditional Japanese no theater. I think it represents a demon or oni. Certainly looks intimidating. Let's see what else is on this thing. There's a price tag. Looks like this one is a replica. Yeah, that or... The archaeological community is about to get one heck of a wake up. Nah, I'm just kidding. Replica. Ooh, and we missed a couple of caches back here. Which, from the looks of the map, means we're going to have to go back through the tunnel, but, oh uh, well. At least maybe we can stop by a base camp and upgrade our stuff. Now we get to figure out what's in here since we have a shiny new, stronger climbing axe. Just some random parts and stuff. Increased damage sounds good. And so does a faster firing rate. We've got five salvage left, but let's be real. That stuff's really easy to find in this game. Oh, and I almost forgot. We can change Lara's outfit. I personally like the Aviatrix outfit because it gets windy out on the ocean and I can see why she'd want a jacket. Let's 
See? Doesn't she look cool now? Why do I feel like that was just a circle? Yeah, I'm lost. We'll check the map now. That's better. <sighs> and I can see the cash blinking away up on that ledge. Let's go get it. And one last little cash. May as well double check to make sure there aren't any other little totem things that I missed. We've just got the one document to find, which is... Let me check the map. On the other side of the gate, and we're probably going to... Which is near the gate, so we might have to advance the story for that one. Let's go. Back through the tunnel of gross.
into the forest, and let's see what the heck kind of trouble Whitman is going to get us into this time. I am getting real tired of these wolves. Really, really tired. And I'm not going to be too mess too annoyed if I miss out on some of the optional challenges. I mean, unlike the story parts of the unlike the documents and the relics, they don't really provide any story, so they're just nice things to that you can do. No new skill points, so Saw a thingy over there. Let's shoot it. All right, Laura. Shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. He sounds. You're ready. He sounds way too happy about this. Darling, think, think before filing those papers. I've, I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now, don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It, it's going to be my name on the discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you, but Please, just wait on it. I I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image. Please. Good lord, this guy's an ass. Like, he probably wonders why his wife is leaving him and is genuinely confused. She's better off without him, let's be real. As Laura says... He is such a self-serving man. Let's double check, make sure we got everything. Yep, only thing left is that last ghost hunter totem, which I'm not too annoyed about. Symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himiko. 
Are you sure you're not channeling Sam, Dr. Whitman? Well, there's no doubt. Himiko had power. Some say shamanistic, elemental. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets called witchcraft. We shouldn't discount anything, even what may seem to us irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. You sound like my father. It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. Himiko. But look, the bowl, the candles. Why is she still being worshipped? This island, it must have once been part of Yamatai. You were right, Lara. <gasps> the Lost Kingdom. It's like finding Atlantis. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're not standing on a myth. No, <laughs> we're standing on a gold mine. Really, man? Come, quickly. Your friends are hurt. Yes, probably by them. Get back. I can't be trusted. <gasps> You still have a gun. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. No. I'm handling this. No. No. Ah. no. Please. What a jerk. Just, just go along with them, Laura. Ah. Do it. Do whatever they say. Дай меня пистолет. Иди. Пошла. Who are you people? What do you with us? Laura! If they give you any trouble, kill them! Don't hurt them, please! Silence, girl. А ты вет хорошенькая, да? Напоминаешь мою сестру. Run them up! Ah! Ah! Don't you fucking move! Kill them all! Seriously? That guy thinks I'm going to do anything but get the hell out of here? Hey, Don't make it out. Yeah, I'm on it! Let's try that again. Hey, bring Don't up the make prisoner. a sound. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Anything? I can't find it. She's gone. Keep looking. There. Another one! Oh, God! Hey! Hey! We gotta run her in the trap! We got you! This group's got some right. fight! Right. Then I have to move the house! Too bad. We're gonna use some hey. recruits. The girl is missing! Keep an eye out! All right! I'm out! I'm out! What do you Don't see? Don't think so. That looks like a good place to hide. Oh, no one escapes. Out! Вылезай! Но трать моего времени! I always find Она тоже была порадочной стервой! Oh! 
Залезай! Но трать моего времени! Она тоже была порадочной стерва! Ew. I like how this game doesn't shy away from the fact that this As I was saying Anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted I like how this game doesn't shy away from the fact that this is the first time that Lara has killed anyone and it's got her very messed up. It, it's nice to see when protagonists are human, for lack of a better phrase. And I'm sorry, Laura, but that thing that had you so messed up, we're gonna have to do a lot more of it. Let's go with the bow, because I do not want to get into a straight-up fight here. Oh wait, no arrows. That could be a problem. Through you. Stay away from me. I may not be very good at QTEs, but I am not a horrible shot. Get out of here. I'd like to wait till that guy who's currently illuminated in my survival instincts goes not red, because that means I can kill him without repercussions. But this is a tutorial, so I guess I do not have that luxury. 
That diamond means I've got a headshot. You get extra XP for those. Huh? Fuck. That works too. More ammo, always good. Well, what so did what you- So what came in? Another tanker? Nah. Looked like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. We got a crew towing it in now. Well, what- Think we'll get any new recruits out of this bunch? Fuck, man, I don't know. Better for them if they just die now. How'd you figure? Well, how long's the last batch been in the pit? I don't know. A few weeks? Yeah, and they're probably starving by now. Nothing but blood and piss for days. Come on, what do you think's gonna happen if you throw one of those new ones in there? Oh, shit. Yeah, eaten alive. Whatever this pit place is, let's avoid it. Help me out here! <laughs> God damn it! Are you there? Yes. I can see smoke coming from the old ruins. Are you okay? Oh God, Roth, I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. I had to kill some of them. I had no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about them right now. You just do whatever it takes to get to me, Lara. I'll try. Hmm. Okay, so. I've got a little space to breathe and plot our next move. Let's see what's over here. Sworn I saw something. Must have been the light. Then again, we might be able to get through that wall. That's useful. We'll have to come back here later. This seems close, so we'll try to go there.
thing about nightmares is sooner or later you wake up. But there's no waking up from this place. Which means I'm really here. I'm really doing these things. No, don't think about it, Lara. Not now. It won't help. I don't know what's happened to the rest of the crew. I hope they're okay. They have to be. They have to be. I don't know what the hell is going on here. All that matters is that Roth finds a way to get us home. Let's pick a new skill. We aren't allowed to get Heavy Lifter yet. So... Hmm. This sounds useful. Oh, we don't have enough salvage for upgrades. Oh well. That's another one of those challenges as I mentioned earlier. Shoot enough lanterns and you get something cool. Hmm. So next I think we cross this bridge. So there are still guys looking for us. Just got word from the West Beach. Looks like a smaller group escaped into the lower forest. Maybe we get a hunting party down there. No. Father Matthias went himself. Told us to stay out. What? Why? I don't know. Maybe another girl for the ritual. <sighs> we'll know more by tonight. It was a bloodbath down there. Vladimir's in charge. What'd you expect? He loves killing. What's Father Matthias have to say about that? Not a damn thing. The Russians have been with him forever. He trusts them. So that means they can break the rules? They make the rules, brother. Just follow along. Keep your head down. <sighs> I'm gonna check things out below. Help! Ah! She's killing us! What? Shit, that's a flare. Shit, I got a weapon and I'm fixing to use it. What's in that building?
Hmm. No useful stuff near here. Next objective is to get over to that two-story building in the distance. And not die. She's in here somewhere. Find her. What was that? Quiet! Quiet! You two, check that side. Got it. Keep looking. She's got to be here somewhere. You find anything on that side? No, oh, not a damn thing. Whoa. Hey, watch it. How far down does it go? All the way to the sea caves. Damn. Maybe she fell. You wish. No. I don't think so. What the hell? Hey, are you okay? What happened? Help! There she is! Down! Hey, fire! Move to the upper level! This looks promising. And we're in! Silk fan. Could have been used by a villager or a noble, maybe. They say it's green, but the color has certainly faded. Let's grab the relic next. It's a gun by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. So, kind of like a samurai version of a semaphore flag, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to do some googling. Let's grab that document because the other two collectibles seem to be over there. Like, close together is what I mean. Sorry, words are hard. Oh yeah, we went this way.
I know everything is on fire, but carrying a torch in your hand just seems like a very good way to get detected, which we do not want. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. This is some culty stuff right here. And yeah, something tells me that this Father Matthias in Nicola's story is the guy we met earlier with Sam. He knew he was suspicious! Sorry, wrong button. Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now. Well, that's all the shinies in the area. Let's get moving. 